So to do this experiment, we need to find a vise like this that is not connected to a table. Do you have one? Yes. You have everything else here, right? We have a lot of things here. Taki, Kiriako, ne mia megi ni elefteri, na dulevio. Beautiful. That's exactly what we need. Okay. So we have our torch here. I'll bring a fire extinguisher. Safety goggles. Let's get the rocks. What I'm going to do is test how this kind of lava behaves when it's erupting. And that means we've got to heat it up to melting point. And to make this experiment much more realistic, I have to flip the camera over. And so now imagine this heat coming deep within the earth. It has to be very hot, almost 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now watch what this stuff does when it starts to become liquid. And there it goes. And think of every one of these drips, this giant body of magma rising to the surface of the Earth. This is non-eruptive. It just flows out nice and calmly. This is our Canary Islands out in the Atlantic. The lava behaves like this because of where it's from. Bottom of the ocean. The Earth's crust beneath our oceans is made of a rock called basalt. Basalt has a lower melting point than other rocks, and so it flows more freely. Destructive eruptions only occur with a rock type that doesn't flow freely. Like this one, granite. So using the same heat source, from within the earth, we're gonna see what kind of temperatures it takes to actually get this granite to do anything. Okay, bring it on in. Notice how it's now become white hot. It's approaching almost 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and yet this still will not flow. So imagine this granite trying to work its way through plumbing and get towards the surface of the earth. It doesn't work. It plugs up all those pipes, builds up that pressure, and it's this that gets very explosive. The mega eruption that ripped apart my prime suspect Santorini was an explosive granite eruption. But Santorini